So basically, the, 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 the base of the start of the season three of the Inferno, of the commonplace of the strongest. There's some things I definitely do want to I definitely do want to talk about, and I think this is basically the arc, of basically of I would say the the bunny girl with her family, or I would say her her clan, her people, stuff like that. And I was kind of wondering, like, if she's basically the princess of her people, or maybe she's the leader of her people, which we which we really do not know anything, anything like that. And basically, basically, I just first want to say here. It's basically that she's pretty much one of my favorites, basically in the anime, and she really actually is. She really actually is. She really does stands up really a whole lot, basically in the series, and she she has she really does have a personal connection with the with the. Um, she does have a personal uh, connection with the MC, and she really she really really does. There's no lie about it that she cares that she cares for the MC and basically stuff because I I think the MC is basically it's just more like worry of the content the content of the. Uh, of basically, you know, basically killing a god. And, you know, I talked to this multiple different times with it in the anime and stuff like that. It's kind of like, it's kind of like, like, whatever, what what god really actually is. Like, which which one? It's going to be Buddha or different, or maybe the almighty god uh, from Jesus from the Bible or, or something like that. Or, if, you know, I am a Christian, you know, I am, I am a Christian. But if he's really actually, you know, basically just talking about, like, god, god, th that would be impossible. That would be would not basically would not basically what what to happen what basically just basically would not basically just to happen and one thing i really want to first of all say because i can't really remember really all that much because like you know because like how is he so personal going up to against this guy or you know, basically and other different things other different things that we really do not even know but i want to first of all say this also well too because like if somebody were were to go up against a god or anything like that whatever it's any god that there is that there is, there's a very good possibility that he could. But can he go up against uh, the Almighty God? No, there's no way. There's no way that it could really actually happen. I, I'm not crazy or anything like that. I'm just giving my full scope of basically for what I see. Basically, goes on, and you know, basically the biblical like, truth because of the Bible and stuff like that, and all that other stuff. And it could lead to basically on to basically uh, on to different things that I think majority of some people or probably some people will probably will. Or probably basically continue, or probably just run off this series, and just to see where actually space is gonna go. And even though basically with the vampire girl, the fam, the vampire girl, I personally want to say this as well too because she's really interested in the MC really a lot. I can tell that from her because them two and them two pretty much basically basically get along, basically get along pretty well, and they really actually do. And they make such a great pair. Between them, between each, uh, between them, and them, and stuff like that. Now, is there a very, very good possibility could we see in season four? I really do not know if that really is going to be possible or not. I really don't think so. I'm not so sure if that really is going to be the possibility. And I, I don't know what how the chapters are out for for the for the series. I don't know if it's based on line number or just a manga, which I really don't know. But I want to personally just want to say this: it's basically that there's not really basically much to basically talk about, basically in this episode. Because the the episode kind of get me a little kind of confused because like because like like I said before the the guy is just so worked up basically you know killing this god that he needs to defeat uh, and basically the stuff you know basically with the weapons and stuff that he has that he can create almost anything whatever the whatever that they, that he can and stuff like that and basically basically just like basically uh, she uh, basically with her and you know worried about her own people but not only because of that. Because when you see this in other different anime, which I'm not going to say the ask for because I'm not, you probably know what I'm talking about. We don't talk about. It's not the customer I'm talking about. You know, I'm not. I'm not saying. It's, uh, I'm not going. I'm not going to say it because of YouTube, because of YouTube because of YouTube will probably get really upset with me and they'll probably take my they'll probably take my video down. Uh, probably give me a community guideline strike. But I'm just I'm just basically I'm just saying because like because you know but using that term I just don't really don't like it. Really, that much, which has been used that term, basically anime, because I definitely do understand. I definitely do understand. It has been said multiple different times when it comes to basically anime, and sometimes, and sometimes they like to, basically to, uh, basically to imply, basically to apply, basically just seen in the absolute, and also the anime, also, uh, also all too. And I'm just, I'm just not really basically a big fan. But when it comes, to, when it comes to basically something like this, and is there something like this, but it also comes to places like like World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft doesn't really have beast people. They really do not have. They really don't. They really really don't. Which that means that that they didn't really don't. They really don't even have because you know basically World of Warcraft has like Panda, human, night elves, Exo, and Torn, 
you know, goblin, orc, human, whatever, whatever you want to call it, or, whatever, or anything like that. But it doesn't really have that or anything like that. But uh, basically, basically, that's basically what it basically feels to me. But I just think that, just think that, that that this episode is is not very hard to explain. It really is not. But it's just kind of getting me a little kind of confused because I'm not really so sure where the really actually is going to go. So yeah, so yeah, I definitely I left I, I think I left up with episode three with. Uh, with with this ant, not with not with the the, the third uh, season three. I'll talk about season two. So I may have to I may have to do that and see if I can you know, play catch up or something like that. If if I don't, then I'll I'll see what I can do and stuff like that. And try not to focus so much on other things and stuff like that. So yeah, but yeah, like I said, we're not really much to talk about basically in this episode. But I think the episode was pretty decent. I think it really was, but just not really really a lot basically going on basically with season three. So so yeah. So, uh, yeah, it was the Sunmax. It was us against the air. Take care. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe. Please, please consider subscribing. Please hit the like button. Give me a thumbs up. And please, or, or give me a thumbs up. doesn't matter to me. And leave me comments as well. Anyways, I love you guys. Take care. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Take care. God bless. I love you guys. Please stay safe. I'm Stay blessed. Love you guys. Take care.